What is up everyone? I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com. You might be wondering why your data projects are not getting adopted either by customers or by people within your organization. So today we're going to go over five key focus areas to make your data projects successful so that users are actually using them. Let's get started. You might be asking yourself, why aren't our data solutions being used? Now, there's a lot that goes into a successful data project. And getting users to use a solution means that you need to solve a personal pain that they're facing and that they no longer want to deal with in their day-to-day -day life. That's why getting adoption is almost like a sales process. If we treat it like a sales process, we can actually start diving into ways to get people to use our solutions. And every successful sale starts with a client who has a pain that they no longer want to deal with. And that's why our first key focus is that data needs to focus on the user's personal needs. If a person's problems are not solved by the data and the solutions that we provide, then it simply won't be used. So we need to find a very specific use case that people would adopt our tool for because it's a significant pain that they deal with day to day. If we can find this user and find the specific problem that they're dealing with, we can create a solution that will solve that problem and therefore the solution will be used. Now, once we do that, we can keep building and adding new features and solving additional problems on top of that first one. But in order to get that initial buy-in, we need to find a very specific focus area that our data solves. The next focus area is that data needs to be unified. We have to make sure that all of our data sources are unified into one single location so that both the business and the analysts can access it easily. Now, unifying data is a very big process and it takes a very long time to get right. But if we don't have our data unified, then what's gonna happen is we're not going to get a full picture of our business and of the data that's being collected. And people are going to start questioning the validity of our data sources and our tools. And therefore we just need to make sure that everything's unified in one place so that we can refer back to it and explain our solutions if people ask. Now that leads us into the next focus area, which is making sure that our data is accurate. Now, if people are asking questions about where our data is and how it's unified, they're going to also be digging into the exact details of the data, cross-referencing it with their own calculations and access to individual tools to make sure that our extraction, our transformation, and our loading process doesn't have any bugs in it. This means that our data needs to be quality checked at each stage in the data pipeline. If the data is not accurate, people won't trust our solutions and therefore won't use them. Losing that trust is a very big deal and it's very hard to recuperate. The fourth key focus area is that data needs to be fresh. Now, if our data is one month or more behind, people aren't going to look at our solutions as useful tools that they need to rely on and therefore adoption will be low. Now, if our data is up to date, hopefully more frequently than daily, then people are going to understand that they're going to get the most up-to-date information in order to do their jobs and solve their problems. So we need to make sure that we're having fresh enough data to where people are trusting our solutions and knowing that they're getting up-to-date information. Ideally, we want to aim for more than daily, but if you can get it down to hourly or even live, then that could be a great payoff. Now, Having live data isn't a necessity, and usually I like to aim for hourly refreshes because that's typically quick enough information to react to in a business context. Now, there are use cases when live data is critical, and that's another situation, but we just wanna make sure that data is fresh enough to make decisions off of, and that we won't be questioning whether or not it's still relevant to our decisions that we're making right now. Our last key focus area is that data needs to be easily accessible. Now. This kind of falls into the data needs to be unified point, but it goes a little bit further. Making sure that data is easily accessible takes on a few different approaches. Now, we need to make sure that our analysts have easy access to the data that they'll be producing insights and visualizations to, but we also need to make sure that data is easily accessible to the end business users. Now, this might mean allowing these users to download the data that's behind the insights and visualizations that are provided in our data solutions, or it might mean just having an easy onboarding process for the tool, making it easy to use, not requiring a bunch of approval steps in order to get them a license or access to what they're looking for. The easier it is to onboard someone and for them to using the tool and looking at the data behind the tool, the better your adoption is gonna be and the quicker that the tool is gonna take off 
because it's not only telling them things that you think they should know, but they're also able to make their own conclusions and go further with the data than what you're able to provide them, which is very critical for getting adoption in data tools. If you focus on these five key areas, then you won't be asking yourself this question anymore. You'll have a way to build data projects so that users want to take them on, they want to use them, and they make them a critical part of their day. And that's the ultimate goal when we're developing these solutions. Now, those are the five areas that I focus on when running my data teams for my own business called MergerData.com. I'm the guy in the picture over there, and we do analytics as a service where we rent out data teams of experts to businesses that don't have that capability in-house. So, you know, if you use these five principles when executing your data projects, you're going to be on a good path to success and for users to adopt what you build. Now, just remember that the entire data solution adoption process can be likened to the sales process because ultimately you're trying to get users to buy in to what you're producing for them. So if you remember to think about the user first and their needs, then you'll be on the road to success. Thanks for watching.